Yeah, after talking to different organizations and some neighborhoods, it sounds like trick or treating is still on. It's just going to look a little different than past years. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. All the scary goblins, ghosts, and even the ghouls are now taking a back seat to something really scary. COVID-19. Be like sad. Seven-year-old Gunner Ruth would be sad if he couldn't get any candy. candy. <laughs> Gunner's mom, you say trick or treat. Angela agrees. Kids should be able to experience trick or treating. Able to. Um, still be able to do it in some form or fashion so our kids have that normalcy. But Angela and her neighbors all understand it needs to be safe. Trunk or treats. Some people have talked about parade style. And trunk or treats seem to be the popular choice. And what would be safe and so we came up with a way to just to drive through instead of having everybody walk through. Oak Crest Church of Christ lead minister Alan Carr says the church wants to offer this safe option to the community. It's a way for us to be good neighbors. So these options lets kids like Gunner <laughs> get the experience and of course the candy. Mm -hmm. Candy, candy, candy. Aaron View, KOCO 5 News.